Hey YouTube, how's it going? I'm Chris and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about DRL Simulator. It has a, a 54 or 55 lesson plan going from scratch as if you've never flown a drone before to acro mode. At first I thought I could just hop into the acro mode and I was dead wrong. I have yet to perform a successful flight more than 30 seconds in acro mode. My goal at the end of the 10 days is complete a medium course for the 10 days to see if I've improved. The plan is to do at least half an hour. Um, Yeah, let's get started. I'm not running the most advanced stuff. This is the Mac Mini with the M1 chip in it. Base model 8 gigabytes. I'm just using a large monitor here. It's not even running the full resolution. And then the controller I'm using is the Beta FPV Lite SE2 remote. It came with the starter kit. Luckily it connects directly with the DRL simulator. I didn't have to download any drivers or anything like that. First we're just gonna adjust the settings here. So graphics wise I'm gonna go to the lowest one. 16 by 9 because my goggles are 16 by 9. I'm just gonna make everything low or off. All right, one more thing we're going to do is go options and I'm going to go 20% field view, 110 sounds okay. Yeah, I want to see props. Let me just get my beta FPV joystick here calibrated. I'm going to do a quick calibration. So center sticks first and then rotate sticks and throttle up and yaw and up and right. Okay, so I'm calibrated. Now we see if we right yaw. Moving left and right, we're gonna go up and down, pitch and roll. Let's see, throttle up, down, and I think everything's all good, so we just save. Finally, after all that calibration, then this is the main menu. We're gonna go here, and so this is the one that really matters the road to pro. My goal is to do at least half an hour. Some of these are super easy as far as these are just intros. We eventually want to go here to the first race. Okay, left turn is not as easy as, as my right turns. <clears throat> Alright, so this one we're just going to be doing loops. The goal is to actually follow the line. As you can see, I'm not anywhere close to this line. Following the line, oh, far again from it, not. Kind of all over the place on this one. And then I passed it. Oh. I definitely don't have the throttle control that, that I did when I was in stability, stability mode. But again, I might have formed bad habits just from flying in that so long okay so i did the first lap um going counterclockwise of uh, going clockwise so now i have to go counterclockwise definitely trying to find this follow this line is really difficult okay these ones are a fig uh series of figure eights let's see how it goes let's see i'm Kind of drifting all over the place here. Oh, not even. Oh my goodness, I'm horrible at this. The green is the target I'm going for. It's like I honestly have no control. I'll get two, and I'll get two, and then uh, that's about it. I honestly, I'm just making circles here. It's super frustrating. So I'm not going to make you guys suffer, I, that was 5 minutes of me just kind of going all over the place. Okay, so that was horrible, um, trying to do figure 8s, I just yeah, I would follow and then I would quickly just, I would just quickly miss the turn, I would like go 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 and I'd start drifting off to the side, yeah this is like really hard. I'm on mission 12, I kind of just pushed ahead and uh, yeah, popping the balloons is hard but I realized like without the balloons it's much easier. The next steps are kind of like mini race courses, so kind of like a figure 8 and then this one is kind of like doing loops around and uh, more like a racetrack. So all the coordination of 
putting all the things together as far as flying tighter, flying... It just escalates really fast, really hard. With that being said, I'm going to end it here as far as the tutorials. And then the next one you should know is Solar Race. I like going to this community maps and then you can actually select which one you want. And my goal is to work myself up to hard. Let's see where we are in 10 days. So day one, I'm just going to uh, filter out basics. So I'm just going to pick a race and see what my time is there on that race. And that will be my baseline moving forward. Soup modded MGP, the field. Okay, I got to finish two laps of this and I'm using the uh, mini drone, a uh, Cinewhoop. I'm just trying to get my bearing straight here. Ugh, already crashed. Oh, it's supposed to go through. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. What's going on here? Where's the go? I'm assuming. Oh, follow the line. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, so that was my first official lap. Uh, 11 minutes, 41 seconds. It's, it's really hard. I'm gonna need some practice and just keep doing this map over and over. Interesting enough, this drone actually is easier to maneuver than the tutorial. I think the tutorial is one of those like Saima X5s or one of those toys. It's really sensitive. You don't get to dial in any rates or anything like that. I do advise is if you pick a rate, just stick with it regardless of how hard it is and then you'll get used to it. So anyways, that's day one of racing and flying. Plan to do this for the next 10 days. I'm probably gonna do this race one more time before I hit the sack. I just finished the race a second time and uh, yeah, I shaved up uh, a whole minute. The first round was 11.41, now it's 10.36. It's funny because these mini whoops will never last this long. Anyways, um, I think I'm done training for today. Thank you guys for tuning in and then I'll check in again tomorrow. See you guys later.